Opening match. 30 man rumble winner chooses any title to challenge until next season. Second match. Open weight tag team match. Johnny Saban, Damien Shelley vs. Chaos Red Wolf. Third match. NJCW Pride vs. NJCW six man tag team match. Brandon Cuevas, Devin Storm, Jose Blanco vs. Hie, Kazuma Kuwabara, Yusuke Urameshi. Fifth match. Never openweight six man tag team title match. Challengers Ben Shada, Jake Knight, DJ Striker vs. Champions Arachnio, Alice Jack, Dragon Lord. Semi final match Special singles match TRG vs. Beast. Main event Never open weight title match Challenger Matt Thunder vs. Champion Ray Blitz. Me, Drew Diamond. Hi. Yes, got the invitation from you. I'm very excited. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ah, I almost want to get that fat man. <laughs> Give me some details on this guys. Yeah. 
Bolton to be in for Elko. Yeah. So we have two representatives from what we have to do with in the process. Very nice. Yes, Damien. Yes, it is. Hard to. dynamic of a rumble like this. It, it, if you're early on in the match, it, it's a lot harder because... The proverbial words of good old Jim, Jim Ross business has just picked up. Here we go. Oh, 
the stabbing of the old statue. Here's that. Here's that. Actually, speak for themselves. <laughs> well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Later on, Oh! Uh, kick. I didn't see who did it. the end of the day, it's all every man for himself. It came down to the, the two partners. One of them would have to, uh... Yeah. Oh, Ray 
bad consistent. Don't do it after seven months. Oh my, not this guy. <laughs> this unhinged piece of work. He tried to get some momentum, but Toshi uh, tripped him up a little bit. And now Charles going after the ball to that one. Oh. Oh, no. Well, that's a uh, game that ends in line. That's Charles with the release of German to that one. So the question is, which one of these two men will be out of the rumble? Oh! Stomp by Charles! How feeling will be if Charles goes to eliminate the most that one in this one? Mm-hmm. Charles goes to semi-finalist of the new 10 Charles Cup tournament. You can see Malik Brown. Only one person can win, but, so you just gotta. You can work with, with with your tag partners, but after a little bit, you're gonna have to go after them. Well, Bedlam to possibly win, and Charles go got eliminated by, uh... Um... I don't know if Hurricane Ron had him off out of the ring. Actually, if I, I, I'm hearing it was Toshi that did it, I think. I think Toshi was the one that eliminated Charles, or I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. 
seven competitors in the Rumble, but only one can win it. Only one will earn a paddle shot after Sakura Overton finishes. They've been found for any champion that lives in their weight position on their face with size. The very Junior Heavyweight Wrestler wins this rumble with size to graduate to the heavyweight position. They just go after a heavyweight champion to enter. Captain New York will be eliminated by Aris Williams. Williams now has black gun. Great cutter. As Ray Allen will have to revolt member. LR to the same speed. Stop that with power bomb. Black gun with a two blade. I'm hurt at the end. He's going to stop the road. Here we go. Both the teams. Nine. That's a good team. And so the front is on two. Black gun stops him. Here we go. Dance is going after Wings and Us. Sex men in the ring. Who's going to go in this match? We get their title opportunity. Ray Allen has JV. JV. Out of this rumble match, five men remain. But which five would be? Would be Aris Williams, would be Black Sun, Ink Canuck, Curtis Stanton, or Rain Allen? Aris, so he is to Rain Allen. Rain Allen fights that with that back elbow. The runner, Black Sun, Stanton down. That's going to not trap him up. That's the big group. Wayne Allen. Ah, uh -uh, the power trap. On to the back of Aris Lane. Black Sun went out there. He comes. That's Wayne Allen to look out there. His stable mate, Curtis Sanchez. Two revolt members in this match. Wayne Allen and Curtis Sanchez. One member of the main unit is Aris Lane. One member of Mayhem is Wing Canuck. And Wing Canuck is eliminated. The final four. The final four legends winning this rubble match. It's Black Sun, Harris Williams, Curtis Sanchez, and Wayne Allen. Rain. That sucks, but the heat Sanchez. Black Sun is not part of a unit yet. He thinks he's a PCW or he's a PCW prize, so he just represents the Matthew family. That's Larry to the elbow. Mr. Cubs left. Young Rain. That Larry to first act. With a beautiful DDT on his left jump go. Then with a multiple knee stuff on the head. It's very sensitive. Now it's Larry and Rain Allen going at it. Oh, what a kick to the head. Rain Allen, who's through number 17 before in the match. Curtis Sanchez, who's number 29. Who's gonna win it? And the stop that flip bomb by Ray Allen. Without which number Harris and Black going through for this rumble. Oh my goodness. Ray Allen gets this finisher to put the sword onto Harris Lowe. The very German super from two black guns. He's got him up. Oh, Eric Lowe in these rubbles. And Ray Allen snaps him. BBC elimination. Final three. Ladies and gentlemen, the final three. Are these three men in the ring? Sanchez, Black Gun, and Ray Allen. But which one of these three will win the match? Which one of these three will get that battle opportunity? Backbreaker by Curtis Sanchez to Rain Allen. Back on Chris Lowe. Picks up Rain Allen and Sam to the kick. And there's that. Why did he do? Like Black Gun and Curtis Sanchez going after Rain Allen. Oh, the takedown by Sanchez. To his evolved teammate, Wayne Allen. 
to the corner. Rain built up his stance of carnival, picked there by Stanford. Punched by Rain Allen, wait, fuck. Stanford with the back elbow. Carnival tie up now with Stanford. Go for that. Flat. Flat. Rain fucked up. Rain Allen off the heat. Tanner third Stanford. Sets him up. On an elbow. And up now, two flex by Rain Allen to Stanford. Now Black, Stone Hat, third Stanford up. Stone Hat, kind of. Stanford. To be able to finish the Black Stone. Stanford doesn't want to be eliminated. Ray Allen has Stanford now. This game simple, and that's a tough one. We got Stanford to go after Black Stone, ladies and gentlemen, half in the corner. That's a fair play to make Black Stone. Ray Allen is not helping Curry Stanford still. And he says he's got him, and he's got us. Jackson has been eliminated. He failed to reign. Final two, ladies and gentlemen. Two robot members are the final two competitors to this Rumble matchup. That is now. He's going for it. Here it is. TKO. Thank you for coming, Rain Out. Stomp the love right on. Picks up Rain. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Curtis Patrick has to be way down here. Great Allen. Two way to Rana. Two way to Rana. This is Dashley. Let's go on. And up to the board. We'll hit the cover. Catch up, Dashley. Rain. Rain. Is he gonna do it? Ah, oh, it's a stun gun. Yeah, I thought Randy was going to go for that elimination and win the rumble. I see. Thereby, Jackson denies the Lariato. Green Alice, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. The final two. Revolt members are your final two competitors. But who's gonna win it? Will it be Curtis Sanchez or will it be Rain Alice? Wait a minute! Rain! Oh? Uh-oh. He was so close on winning the Rumble. I don't think he wanted to eliminate Sanchez that way. Wait a minute. He has to get the rope. Oh, the rope. He's on the apron. There's the pump by Rain Allen. Former Network Boy Champion. The forearm. Can eliminate Sanchez. And Rain Allen is a sure winner.
Second match. Open weight tag team match. Johnny Saban, Damien Shelley vs. Chaos Red Wolf. Ladies and gentlemen, it is I once again your commentator for this second match, Eddie Martin, and I'm joined by. And this is the rebellious soldier talking, and I'm not be here for long because I notified that I got a match coming up. So, here we are, drag match. Drag's dead machine gun. We need to show it on the light. We just saw the bomb stairs. Guy Saban. This tag team duo has been known to have incredible tag team matches. Big room. Good day, mate. Look at the first official. Indeed. And their tag team opponents are not other than DMP members Chaos and Red Wolf and here they are all I can see is I'm glad my brother is going to perform yeah, he can get, I mean, yeah, he can get ruthless, but I don't know if he fits that bill for them. But, he's doing nothing. So I'll give him this. Turn off the rep, partner. Turn off the That is correct, Brandon. It's the heavyweight tag team of the DMP. The Madsen family. Uh, Red Wolf challenged Jamal Betlam for the CCL Top Championship. Uh, that, that takes a lot of balls to do it. I'll be, I'll be dead on. Well, Chaos challenged Ray Blitz for the Never Avoid Championship here in NJCW as well. Uh. It looks like Damien Shelley will start us off against Chaos. That was expected with Damien. Damien Shelley is still trying uh, uh. to look for his first pinfall victory. Yeah. It's mainly what he wants, as I just brought up. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Big strikes to the face. This oh, tag team one. match is open weight rules. Mm. As both Damien and Saban are junior heavyweight wrestlers. Uh, yeah. Don't out, they'll, take mm -hmm. on some, they'll take on some heavyweights so whenever they want to. Johnny Saban. Still part of the NJCW Pride Openweight Championship Tournament. Speaking of that, uh oh, hold on. I can't even help. Speaking of that tournament, you are still in that tournament, Brandon. Oh, uh, yeah, that is true. I am still in it. I do believe you're. Next opponent will be Ryan Wolf. Ah, uh, Ryan Wolf. If I remember correctly, he was in a rumble match, correct? Yep. Uh, I was looking backstage about it. To say that I'm rank one, it's a big understatement. Just to say, I can't wait to Glen Tech all at the same time. Mm hmm. Under the same place, you know? Indeed. As Saban going to the top rope. Oh! Double foot stumps connect. But Chaos saw that line saw coming. 
tag to Red Wolf. Saban connects that DDT onto Red Wolf and a okay. nice drop. Damien Shelley, the anime anarchist. Yeah. All the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yeah, by way of the whole place in Japan, ironically. Mm -hmm. Damien Shelley decided to move to Japan to be close to NJCW. Yeah. All oh, backbreaker from the three of all positions. That's not fun. It sure isn't. And that's why I am just a commentator. Tag to Johnny Saban. Whoa. Nice moonsault there. Oh, Dragon Swirl. From the big men. Here we go. Chaos. Don't pass twice. Tag to Red Wolf. And the question is, which one of these two tag teams will win this tag team matchup? Jawbreaker, look out! Like I said earlier, when we were in that first match for the Rumble, we are live from East Rutherford, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. They moved to a new venue. Yeah. Oh, on a slice spread by Johnny Saban. Oh, backbreaker there. Yeah, I'll say this much. He isn't called the motor sitting there double for nothing. Exactly, Brandon. Red Wolf got sent to the corner. Oh, Damien. Oh, Wandar City. There it is. Will Damien get his first pinfall victory? Uh, uh, nope. There. We know this is an, an NJCW show, but it's still a New Japan Call Wrestling show. Technically. Oh. It worked. Oh, two came out of the bear. Damien kicked out. Damien Shelley, who will take part. Oh, the best of the Super Call Juniors. This is first, if not mistaken. It is. The other competitors have yet to be announced, though. Oh no. Oh! Power bomb outside. Yeah, you know that. There's a lot of air out of you. As Chaos brings Damien Shelley back to the ring. Oh, is he a tag? Yeah, I'll tag. Oh! He was prepared for the saving. But, back. He wants to prepare for that kickoff double stop. Okay, I saw that Dragon. kick coming. Mm-hmm. Tag to Red Wolf. Red Wolf. Oh, oh he's occurring. Bam. Saban fighting back though. Uh -oh. Hold up. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What's this? Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Yes. And like you said earlier, Brandon, that's Johnny saving for you. Yeah, Motor City Daredevil, that is finest. But Red Wolf. Oh, God! What a neck breaker. That neck breaker of sort. A camel clutch variation now. Yeah, but he's grabbing it by his face. Thank God the saving guy out of that. Mm hmm. Red Wolf bringing Saban back to the ring, and there's attack to Damien Shelley. Uh, you did 
not want to do that when you're on the outside. Wait a minute. Red Wolf? Ready for it. Hits DF5. It's over. Oh. Mm. Doom there. Shelly still has some fight left in him. He does. The crowd chanting tag team wrestling. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, what's, what's Red Wolf doing here? Oh. Oh, oh he's going to rip the left arm from Damien Saki. Damien Shelly countering. He's not having any of it. Wait, what's this? Oh, the forearm. Oh. But Red Wolf counters back. Oh no. Tried the camel clutch. It's a good thing Damien's legs were under that rope. Yeah, it was. You clearly saw it, even though without a camera view. We've got the best referees here. Oh, torture rack? Oh! Torture rack bomb, there it is. Will this do it? Damien once again proving why he is the enemy anarchist. Oh, dropkick. Tag to Johnny Saber now. Saban going to the top rope. Oh no. Saban, what are you doing? Oh! Chaos saw it coming and dodged him. Sidestepped him. He's looking for that. Come on, he's looking for the neck. Mm-hmm. Chaos going after Damon there. Oh no. Stomping the arm of Damon Shelley. Oh man, that's Damon. This is kind of your own call of attention to do the wheel, isn't it? Mm hmm. Six count by the referee. Oh, Damon. Seven count. Chaos. Makes it back in time. And already 10 minutes have elapsed in this tag team matchup. Uh -oh. Ooh. Got him with the knee there. Damon Shelley getting tagged in. And a nice German. And a quick tag there as well. Oh, Saban, butterfly suplex finisher for the win. Oh, saved by Red Wolf. Uh oh, <laughs> I don't. I understand what he's trying to do, but let me take care of it for you. Mm-hmm. And Saban just needs to focus on chaos here. Oh, there it is. Wait, what's good? Damien! Yeah, you know about the velocity of Damien. That's, that's enough question that he's got that. Mm hmm. Chop block. Chop block by Saban there to chaos. What's oh, this? One more time. Another butterfly yeah. suplex. It's over. Oh, he called it. It's a fact of uh, uh, never. Oh, count of two only. Wait, is he gonna try to go for another? One more time. Here it is. Oh. Uh, third time is not, uh, not that time. Neck breaker. Neck breaker there by Chaos tagging in Red Wolf. Color elbow. Red Wolf has saving here and. Jumped them outside! Yo! 
It's a good thing we have protective matting under there. Wait. Saban cleaning the table. Ah, he's pissed. Yes, he is. And look at this. Oh my god, cross the fucking arrow. Picks up. That's one way to play. Picked up Red Wolf, brought him back in the ring. Oh, drop kick. Nice. Chaos wants the tag. And got it. Saban, pay attention to Chaos. Oh. Oh, he is. Elbows. To the mid section. Where's he going with Chaos, though? Oh. So then Saban to Chaos's side of the corner. Oh no. Hurting. Mm-hmm. But Saban here. Oh. Got need by Chaos. And now Chaos going for the win here. Wait a minute. Oh, nice. Reversal. Wait, cover. DDT? No way! Damn. Saving got it! <laughs> we see the replays now for this match. The long dart by Shelly. That butterfly DDT by Red Wolf. Here we see Torture Act Bomb by Chaos. Brain Buster, and your winners, next gen, more machine guns. Well, Brandon, I do believe your match is next. Yeah, I'm speaking of that, I'm getting caught, and uh, the ass kick is coming up. Let's go! Third match, NJCW Pride versus NJCW six-man tag team match. Brandon Cuevas, Devin Storm, Jose Blanco versus Hie, Kazuma Kuwabara, Yusuke Urameshi. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for six-man tag team action as NJCW Pride takes on and JCW and here we go ring announcer take it away the following contest is a six man tech heat match so for one ball with a 30 minute time limit everything first in the blue corner they represent NJCW Pride, thus making his way to the ring, he is the Masochist Jose Blanco! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for more in-ring competition here in this VW Horizon episode. 
and old special for New Japan Call Wrestling coming to you live from East Rutherford, New Jersey, the former venue, the former arena for the Brooklyn Nets. We are at Route 120, ladies and gentlemen. This is why this show is called Battle on Route 120, ladies and gentlemen. This venue has had a lot of history, and we are making history here tonight as well for the first time ever. It's NJCW Pride versus NJCW in this six man tag team matchup. This is not the only NJCW Pride versus. And you see the matchup ladies and gentlemen because later on the narrow open weight six man tag team titles will be on the line as Ben Shada, Jake Knight, and PJ Stryker will battle the narrow open weight six man tag team champions Dragon Lord of Rep you and Alice Jack. But that's not until later on, but this is now S. Jose Blanco waits for his tag team partners and here they are Devin Storm and Brandon Cuevas and now introducing his tag team partners they are Devin Storm Brandon Cuevas Dark Storm! There they are, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Storm have arrived and ready for this six man tag team matchup as they will battle Aura Mashigoon. Devin Storm, as well as Brandon Quavers, took part of the New Japan. The new USA Call Cup, there we go, the new USA Call Cup tournament to crown the first ever Openweight Champion of NGCW Pride. Devin Storm is eliminated, Brandon Quavers is still in though. Now let's see how this trio does here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. As we await for the opponents in Uramashi Goon. And here they are. Urameshi Goon is in the house. And now, introducing their opponents. Representing Urameshi Goon, P.A. Kazuma Kurabara and Yusuke Urameshi. Dora Mashi Goon ready for this six man tag team matchup, ladies and gentlemen. First time ever, Dora Mashi Goon versus Dark Storm and Jose Blanco. Let's see who will walk out as the winning trio for this trio's match. This is gonna be incredible, ladies and gentlemen. I just know it. The leader, Yusuke Meshi, former ICWHP Intercontinental Champion, PA, former ICWHP Junior Heavyweight Champion, and former ICWHP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion as well. Here we go. Jose Blanco will kick us off against PA. Where we call for well. 30 minutes on the clock. It begins. Blanco has Hiei on the ropes. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, now he's using the top rope to his advantage. Oh, what a kick. Knocking down Hiei. Turns him over. Hiei now goes with the counter. Oh, what's this? Oh, blocked by Hiei. There's the colorable kick. It's the mid second of Jose. Here we go. Sunset flip power bomb. Got him with a sunset flip. Bamadeo tags in Kasuma Kuwabara. There's the punch blocked by Kuwabara. No color elbow sends Jose over the top rope. With an exorcist by Yusuke Urameshi, the leader of Urameshi Gun, ladies and gentlemen. 
Jose back in the ring. We had another Jose press. Oh my goodness! What a move there by Jose Belanco. Like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, we had another Jose wrestler here in NJCW, and that was Jose Gomez, who was part of Latinos World Order. Or is it Latinos of Wrestling? No, Latinos of Wrestling. There we go. L O W. Oh, nice one there by Devin Storm, the man who got knocked off the new, the new USA Cup Cup tournament. As he lost to Zach George in the qualifiers. There's the tag to Yusuke Urameshi by Kasuma Kuwabara. And I do believe Darren Storm is going to take out his frustrations here tonight. After losing to Zach George. Tags in. Hiei is Yusuke who tagged him in. And now he ain't out. Oh, what a form knocking down the big man, Devin Storm. Falls out with a double foot stomp. There's a kick to the chest. And ah, oh, that's the left arm of Devin Storm. Falls it up with a neck whip. He ain't now. Oh, hurting the leg of Devin Storm. He's got him up. Color elbow. Drops him down. He ate full double foot stomps to the bit section of Devon. Cover is it enough to get the win? No, it's not. Uh, the match continues. As he ate with that standing moon salt of his. Tags in Yusuke Urameshi. Yusuke down. What's next? Got him. Devin Storm in trouble. He needs to tag out or something. Oh, multiple punches to the head of Devin Storm there by Yusuke. Or a mashy with more punches to the head. And there's a stub at the end. More punches to the head of Devin Storm now by Yusuke. Dodge them. Oh, try to go for a Superman punch there by Yusuke. Dodge. That one there. Oh, drop him down. Drop the back of Devon Sword to the back. He's got him up. Good. Uh, the color elbow. And now, check this out. Whoa, Devon Storm counters it via the cruise. The cruise butte. The cross of butte, ladies and gentlemen. There's the tag to Brandon Quavers now. Oh, members. Oh, the trio of NJC W Pryor have now been in the match. Yes. You get connected that swinging neck breaker waist lock on Brandon. There's the R leg sweep. And now GSK. What's next here? Oh nice. Counter there by Brandon Cleaver swing with the kick. Well oh my goodness! What a Springboard from the middle rope, ladies and gentlemen. On to Yusuke Ramesh and tag was made to Jose Blanco, but he got Larry at it. And nice counter by Yusuke there. There's the punch to the head now. As Yusuke is going to go on his corner, his side of the corner. Here it is. Oh, but Jose dodged him. Got him with the knee. And now he's going to pick him up. Color elbow. Jose Blanco puts him in his corner of Jose Blanco. There's the chop. Knocking down Urameshi stomps him. And now, wait a minute. Urameshi with the elbow to the bit second of Jose Blanco. Here it is. How about Jose's fighting back? Color elbow. Jose hits it. Discus forearm connects. Lost him off for the cover. Will this do it? No. Can one. Kuwabar wanted to attack. He got it. But Jose's got him here. Here it is. Oh, wait. Kuwabar escapes. Wait, stop into the German suplex. German connects. He's got Jose up now. It, oh, my goodness. What a maneuver there by Kuwabar. That's the kick to the section. Here we go. 
There it is! Oh, hit that cover. But it's Brandon who breaks up the pin, and the match continues. Brandon goes after he our trips and over the top rope has who sig focuses on Kuwabara. Oh, down there in the midsection. As Kuwabara! What a man in there. There's the tag to Urameshi. Urameshi now. Wait, those encounters. Striking on the head of Urameshi now. Stomps the leg again. And now the elbow drop to the left leg of Urameshi. Oh, punches to the leg as well. And though the knee area. Jose now. Oh, Yusuke got out of the way. He saw it coming. Color elbow. Sends Jose to the corner, but he didn't get there. Oh my gosh. Uh, that was, I believe, the Olympic slam. And, oh, the Rana. The Rana by Jose Blanco. Gonna go and tag in Brandon Cuevas now. You can catch Brandon. Jose Blanco and Devin Storm in ROVW, ladies and gentlemen, go check them out. Oh, the DDT, and that makes Brandon bleed. You can also check out Brandon and Jose Blanco in other Paul shows, just like Phantom. That was made to Hiei. Dora Mashi was in the way as Brandon sends Hiei to the ropes via the Archer. They bump into each other. That's a kick to the leg. And oh, what a... What a move there by Brandon Cuevas. Almost like he's some sort of judo throw. He swept the leg. Yes, he did. Oh, the multiple lariats. Three lariats. And the fourth one at the end. Connects. He's got Hie up. Color elbow. Brandon. What is he doing here? Puts Hie in his corner. The corner of Brandon Bowl. Boxing punches there by Cuevas now. The man who we had on commentary for that tag team match of NJCW Pride versus NJCW. It was Next Generation Machine Guns versus the Manson family of Red Wolf and Chaos. Tag to Devin Storm. Devin now. Look at him go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the big boot kid axe. He got it. Oh, what a stop. There we go. Going for the cover. Is it enough? Get the win. Uh, no. Two counter. And JCW lost one, ladies and gentlemen. And that was the tag team matchup. Ooh, will we see NJCW tie the match here? Or will NJCW Pride get the win? Oh, my goodness. The Lariat. By David Storm. And JCW has one win currently. Oh, but he ain't managed to dodge that. And now Devin Storm going for the stun gun. Tags in Brandon Cuevas. Brandon now. Oh, tag to Urameshi. Color elbow. Brandon sending Urameshi to the corner by King. He couldn't. He stopped in his tracks. Color old time by Urameshi. Here it is. Urameshi now going for that neck breaker. And now starts punching away on the head of Brandon Cuevas. Ah, he's choking him. He's choking him. Brandon's back up. Oh, there's these cut screw uppercut of his. He's got Uramashi now. There's the knee. Uramashi is bleeding. Cover. Ah, oh, count of two. I don't know where Kuwabar was going. He was going the wrong direction, but somehow Uramashi still managed to kick out. And oh, Brandon sends. He sent. Who will bar to the outside of the ring while he was on the apron? Dutch by Urameshi. Brandon was thinking to use his finishing maneuver. But Yusuke saw it coming. Ah, oh, there's that spike. DDT. 
Ura mashing out, punching him way on the head of Brandon. Stomps him. What's he up to here? No, oh, that's the knee of Brandon. Stomp. Brandon blocks that kick. Goes with that dragon screw. Are we gonna see a tag? Yes, we are. USK tags in. He a. Oh, check this out. The Rana. Oh, it's time to dial it up. He a with a 619. And old Tiger Faint kick. The he kick. I don't know. Never. But it's Jose Blanco to break it up. Double with stomps there by he a to Brandon. Cool bar sent. Jose over the top rope. He a dodges Brandon. There it is. Wow. Hurricane Rana connects. Standing. Boonsaw cover. But the referee says rope a break. Brandon countering he is there's the stump Brandon now oh what is this it's the bow and arrow bow and arrow ladies and gentlemen by Brandon Cuevas on he a is it over now it is not Brandon now lives up or I'm actually but he got away from him there's the uppercut by use K and now wait color elbow Brandon, cutter, cutter, goes after he, he goes for his own cutter, Dragon Slayer, is it over, will Brandon tap to the Dragon Slayer of he ain't now, Brandon is saved by Jose Blanco, look at them go at each other ladies and gentlemen, color elbow, Jose Blanco is no stranger to NJCW wrestlers, he has beaten it. Damien Shelley in a singles match. Referee EA Brandon in the ring. Ah, the card screw uppercut out of nowhere. And now the tag to Devin Storm. Devin Spear! Spear! That's gonna be it. Cover. He kicks out another tag to Jose Blanco. But he gets out of the way. Oh, gets striked upon by Jose Blanco. Release German suplex connects the cover. Guabara. Oh, wait. I think it was he who kicked out. As Devin Storm sends Guabara with the top row. He's going to go after him. Jose Blanco. There's the combo nation of striking kicks. Oh, what a knee. The tag to Brandon Cuevas. Brandon picks up EA. Ura Magic trying to help out Kuwabara against Devin Storm outside the ring. Here it is. That's the knees. The knee to the head. Cover. They got it. Dog Storm and Jose Blanco are victorious. And trios action here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check out those replays. Wham! Nice one there by Kuvar. Look at those forearm strikes by Devin Storm to Hiei. Hiei, though, with the Tiger Fiend kick. Here are your winners Devin Storm, Jose Blanco, and Brendan Cuevas. Ladies and gentlemen, we're heading over to commercial break when we come back. It's the number four eight six man tag team title matchup. NJCW Pride versus DMP.
fifth match. Never open weight six man tag team title match. Challengers Ben Shada, Jake Knight, DJ Striker versus Champions Arachneo, Alice Jack, Dragon Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the never open weight six man tag team titles to be defended. We can answer, take it away. The following contest is a six man tag team match, simple one ball, race 30 minute time limit, and it is for the number of the weight six man tag team championship. It is the first already in the ring, representing NGC 35, Ben Shada, Jake Knight, and DJ Striker. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. The challengers for the Never Open with Six Men Tag Team Championships here tonight. And now we await for the champions. And here they are. And now, introducing the opponents, representing the DMP. They are your number open weight six man tag team champions, Arachneo, Alice Jack, and Dragon Lord, the collection. The collection, a subgroup of the DMP, ladies and gentlemen, are here and ready to defend those never open weight six man tag team championships. Against NJCW Pride's Zone, Ben Shader, oh, DJ Striker, and Jake Knight. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, Jake Knight has no affiliation with Chris, the Dreamy Knight, who is part of the Kingdom. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be DJ Striker kicking us off against Arachneo. Referee will be calling for the bell. Here we go. 60 minutes on the clock. Nice one there by Arachneo. He's going to go for that senton of his. Got it. Oh, there's the boot. Picks up DJ Striker. Going for the back elbow. Out. What's this? A scoop slam. DJ though, what's he up to here? Oh, oh, this is formed to the back of the head of Arachneo. And now he's gonna go for that Romero special. Or Serp or Stretch, ladies and gentlemen, whichever one you prefer. Oh, now he's going for the Dragon Slayer variation of the Romero special. But Arachneo gonna punch his way out of that submission. Oh, here comes DJ once again. Nice drop kick on the knee, the left knee of Arachneo. Goes for the kick as DJ now going for those punches to the head of Arachneo. My goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen, that had to. Uh, oh, tags in Jake Knight. A lot of first timers here, ladies and gentlemen, for this VW Horizon episode of New Japan Call Wrestling. There's the kick to the back by Jake Knight. Jake now going with that color elbow. Here it is. Neck breaker connects. And now Jake going for that stomp of hairs. Another one. Now wait a minute. Countered by Arachnia went for those punches onto the head of Jake. Stomps his midsection. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, NJCW and NJCW Pride as well as World Divine Ring Column is for everyone. We should make that as a hashtag. 
Oh, wait a minute. What's Jake not going to do here? Oh, snake eyes. Hashtag call wrestling is for everyone. And now, oh, the backdrop. Oh, Saito suplex there by DJ Striker. As Alex Jack in the corner, Alex Jack's first championship, ladies and gentlemen, the Neverweight Six Men Tag Team Titles. Winning the championships with Arachne and Dragon Lord as DJ What a Suplex there. Will we see new champions here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? This one of two championships being defended here as DJ with the cover could only get him to a count of one. The challenge was made between these three men, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, Pele. The Pele. DJ, Jake, Knight, and Ben Shada formed an alliance to challenge the Never Burning Six Men Tag Team Champions for this BW Horizon episode. Now an attack to Dragon Lord. He is no longer in dragon form, ladies and gentlemen. He is now human. Oh, snap suplex. Do we still call him Dragon Lord? I don't know. Or should we call him by his real name? It will be all up to him, ladies and gentlemen, as Jake Knight going for that leg bar. He's got it locked into the middle of the ring. Oh, but it's Dragon Lord. He manages to escape it. Oh, stomped it by Jake. Now Jake stomping the left arm of Dragon Lord. And he's going to go with Dragon Lord Mercer, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go with that name. Now another cover for the one kick out. The collection still in the match is Dragon Lord with that neck breaker. Picks up Jake. There we go. What's gonna happen here? Puts Jake in the corner, but Jake got away from Dragon Lord. Calabo. And it's Jake now. With, oh my goodness, neck breaker. Cover. You champs maybe. No, count of one. Oh! Send the head of Dragon Lord to his knee. And now Jake Knight celebrating as Dragon Lord attacks in Arachneo. There's that color elbow. Jake now, wait a minute. Oh, Arachneo with the chop block. He got it. What's gonna happen here next, ladies and gentlemen? What's gonna happen next? Arachneo goes with a pin. But Jake Knight kicks out. The match continues. Uh, look at Arachneo, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at this man. Ah, look at that taunt. As Jake Knight tags in DJ Striker. Oh, come on, elbow between DJ and Arachneo here as DJ Striker connects the sit out power bomb. Just a one count, ladies and gentlemen. DJ with the kick. It's these three men from NJC W Pride win those six-man tag team titles. It will be the best championships they've won here in New Japan called Wrestling. And now, what is this? It's Dragon Lord with those multiple punches to the head of DJ. Goes for those punches yet again. He was tagged in by a wreck. Oh no, it's Chowganam. It's Chowganam. 
Look at this man taunting. He's taunting on DJ Striker. Oh, STO! Oh, a choke! XTO, ladies and gentlemen, cover by Dragon Lord, and it's a two count. The match continues. Picks up DJ, and he goes for that spine buster of his. The spine buster connects. My goodness, my gosh. Pure chaos attack. It was made to Alice Jack. There's the pair. Is it over? Is it Ben Shader with the save? Saved there by Ben Shader, ladies and gentlemen. Two count by the referee there. What's next? Oh, that goes out. Oh, got him. As Alice Jack mashes him up, oh, down it is the Code Breaker. Code Breaker connects cover. Let me take out. Count of one by the referee. What's next here? Call it elbow. Whoa. And now him, but Jake Knight kicks it out. Look at him go, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. And now what is this? What is this? What's Jake gonna do here? Oh, he's just taunting us out. It's Jack tacked in Dragon Lord. Wow, punches him down. Dragon Lord punching the back of Jake Knight. Attacks in. Ah, oh, let's check now. Dodged him. Jake with a punch. Color elbow tie up. Here it is. The neck breaker. Swing neck breaker by Jake. Oh, but the referee calls for that rope break. Rope break, ladies and gentlemen. Rope break. Now look at Jake stomping away on Alice Jack's small little punches to the head of Jack there. That's Jake. Gonna go and tag in Ben Shada. Ben Shada who interfered in the title match between Justin Jericho versus the ICWGP US Heavyweight Champion Mikey Hamato. Oh God! Alice Jack there for the win! No! Count of two. Alice Jack though. Don't. What's that word I'm looking for? Wait, anyways, Alice Jack with those multiple knee drops. Onto the head of Ben Shader. Oh, now I know. Don't underestimate Alice Jack, ladies and gentlemen. He might be a junior heavyweight, but he this man knows how to whack his opponent's bodies. Four. We'll count by the referee. There's that leg DDT. By the counter. Oh, let's look at him. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Shader. You'll be awkward if Justin Jericho somehow shows up for this matchup and causes Ben Shader the championship. Just like Ben Shader cost. Justin Jericho, ladies and gentlemen, against Mikey Hamato. And oh, the Alex is there on the barricade. Three count by the referee. Now at four. By the counter. Six count by the referee now. He's at a seven. 
Now at eight. Nine, count two. We've got ten now. There's the eleven count. Now twelve. Oh, got him there. One count by the referee. He's at two. Oh, one count. Both Ben Chitta and Alice Jack still going at it outside the ring. He's at three. Four. Now four. Ah, the fifth count. The fifth count, ladies and gentlemen. Six. Six a counter. Seven. Seven count. Ah, uh, my God, that's... They're going at it. Still outside the ring, ladies and gentlemen, once again. He's at three. Now four. Ah! Uh, the fifth count. Six is a counter, ladies and gentlemen. Six is a counter. Oh! Got him right there. Now it's Dragon Lord in the ring against Ben Shada Stun Gunner. Two count. Count up two. Oh my goodness, just look at these two men going at it in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Dragon Lord and Ben Cheetah. Wait a minute. Dragon Lord, someone's going locked in. The triangle choke. Triangle choke. But it's DJ who breaks it up. The match continues. Oh. Goes after Dragon Lord, but Dragon Lord takes down DJ with that maneuver of his. The Spine Buster tag to Arachneo. What? Jake Knight, what are you doing? Okay, I thought Jake Knight was gonna say, Nah, man, I'm done. We lost this match. And just look at Arachneo go there, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Sister! Captain Kennex for the win. Cover. Count of two. Count of two, ladies and gentlemen. Arachneo now. What is this? Oh, takes down Ben Shader. Feel that stun gun. Tag to Dragon Lord. He's measuring up. He's measuring up Ben Shada. It's over. Will the win? Will the collection retain? Or is it the collective? I can't remember. Cover. Oh, count of two. I think it's the collective. Or is it the collection? No, I'm lost. But Dragon Lord takes care of DJ Striker there. Stomps Ben Shada. Here it is. Little punches to the head there by Dragon Lord. That's too bad. Gotta go tag in Arachneo. The man is taunting. Stumps the leg of Ben. Grabs the right leg and throws him. There's the cover. 
Rope break! Rope break! The match continues! Wow! They had to hit. And now check this out, ladies and gentlemen, Arachnio in the ring, but he tags in Alice Jack instead. Jack now, oh, stunner! Or was it a cutter? But anyways, Dragon Slayer! Dragon Slayer by Alice Jack. DJ breaks it up. Nice save there by DJ Strago. Covered by Alice Jack. DJ, get back in the ring! It's over. It's over. The collection retains. What up, match, ladies and gentlemen? Let's check out those replays. Bam! Uranaki by Arachnio. Here we see it again. On to DJ Striker. Cover. One, two, count two. Choke STL by Dragon Lord. One, two, kick out. Here we see that spine buster of Dragon Lord. Bam! Your winners and still the number one for each six man tag team champions. Dragon Lord, Oratio, and Alice Jack, the collection. Ladies and gentlemen, we're heading over to commercial break, but when we come back, it's TRG versus Beast one on one. Semi-final match, special singles match, TRG versus Beast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Why back so from commercial serious? break. It is now Let's time for your semi-final matchup, TRG versus Beast. Special singles match, ladies and gentlemen, ring announcer, take it away. The following contest is, a, is your semi-final match, and it is a special singles match, simple but for with a 16-minute time limit. It is a first from the United States of America, wrestling out of HACW Pride. He is the Sports G. This is, ladies and gentlemen, first time ever TRG battles BICWGP World Heavyweight Champion Beast in a non title matchup. 60 minutes on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. TRG wrestles in HACW Pride, which means open weight rules. And this match will be contested under open weight rules as well, ladies and gentlemen. Which means TRG as a junior heavyweight wrestler will take on the world heavyweight champion, Beast. The ICWGP world heavyweight champion, to be exact. And this man will have a title defense against Malik Brown coming up at Sakura Origins. And there he is. And now, if you're listening 
his opponent. Wrestling out of UCW. Representing the Hardcore Boys. He is your ICWGP World Heavyweight Champion. He is, ladies and gentlemen, he is Beast. You are not as Beast is looking for his best. What's his second title of offense, ladies and gentlemen? I do believe his first title of offense. Because he did defend a champion here, but that was the ICWHP Inner Colonel title against Eddie Lobo in the main event of Castle Strike. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, if PRG finds a way to beat Beast here, will PRG go after the IC Dirge P World Heavyweight Championship? Because Beast already has one challenger, and that challenger is the winner of the New Japan Cup, Cup Tournament, Malik Brown. Will we see a triple threat match? Or will PRG wait for the next CPV and challenge Beast there instead to make it one-on-one? -on -one? Or will he call Beast and have him defend the championship at an AJCW Pride CPD, ladies and gentlemen? Who knows? We'll have to wait. That is if a really big if PRG can defeat this man right here. Because I know it's not going to be an easy task to defeat this man in this ring. As Beast is a winner of the G1 Call Climax. That is how this man won the championship at Call Kingdom 7. Ladies and gentlemen, our two day CPV. Ooh, Beast starting things off nicely there, stomping TRG. TRG, who is also part of the NJCW Pride USA. The NJCW USA Cup, Cup Tournament to crown the first ever NJCW Pride Open which Champion. Oh, please with a power bomb. So it will be amazing for TRG if he wins the Pride Tournament, crowning him the first ever Open Witch Champion of NJCW Pride, and then challenges Beast for the ICWGP World Heavyweight Title as well. And ah, oh, his hands beast over the top rope there. Grants him over. There we go. Ankle lock by TRG. Ah, oh, beast counters at the end though. TRG with a chop, beast chop specter as well. Back elbow. Another one. Catch them in section of TRG. Kind of tie up. And yeah, wait a minute, TRG going for that reverse DDP. Four count by the referee. Picks up. Beast here. Here we go. Oh, it's the atomic drop. This with a kick to the red section as TRG now with a sit out pile driver. Has Beast up. TRG gets back in the ring. Seven, Seven count. TRG wants to win the match via camera apparently. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Connor will tie up. Beast now. Oh, the stun gun. There's the stomp. And now Beast stomping in the next section of TLG. TRG wanted to have a match with Beast, ladies and gentlemen, here in the US. And this is the only way we could have done it. As Beast is always busy in the Japan side of the shows for NJCW while TRG is always booked oh spine buster as TRG is always booked in the USA shows for NJCW Pride and now Beast kicks the leg of TRG the left leg uh oh that left power bomb 
Oh, nice kick there by TLG now. Going for the chop. Oh, he just evaded that one. Yes, look at this man. Pick up TRG and throws him down the mat. TRG back up though. Strike, another strike. That chop was blocked though. What is Beast up to here? Boots TLG on the ropes. And now. Threw him down. Ooh, using the ropes to assess them as he stops TLG there. TRG counters at the end. Goes for the punch. Color elbow. Irish whip. And that will send Beast over the top rope. If that was TRG, I would take a breather or option two, go after the champion Beast. As he's working on the left ankle. Kind of a tie up right here. Oh, Beast. Uh, wait, TRG escapes. Runs the back. Kind of a tie up once again. Beast sending TRG back in the ring. Referee telling both wrestlers to get in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. No more wrestling outside the ring. Beast now. What a Battle a belly sequence. Oh, nice. Strikes there by TRG on Beast now. Got him with a drop toe. Beast still. Counters as well. There's that STO. Running STO to be exact. He starts punching on the head of TRG and stops him as well. More punches to the head there by Beast. And another. Stomp to the midsection. This time stomps the right arm of TRG. TRG counters as he strikes on the head of Beast. Stomps him on the left leg. Beast blocks that strike of TRG. And now, check this out. Slams down TRG to the mat. Cover. Only getting one count. Oh no. Watching the face of TRG on the map there. The face wash. And here we go. The camel clutch is locked in. Camel clutch by Beast. But it looks like TRG is going to find a way to escape it and takes down Beast as well. Oh, running bulldog. TRG. Looks for that neck whip. Stop. Another stomp. Oh, by it's Beast who counters the block by TLG. And now the atomic drop. Turn over. Irish whip. And that will send Beast over the top rope. TRG just waits in the ring. Taunting the champion Beast. The man who will main event Sakura Origins against Malik Brown. As they will wrestle for the ICWP World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, TRG dropping down Beast stops him. There's the kick. And now, oh, that's the left arm of TRG there. Then I heard it again. He's got him up. And now, wait, stop. Oh, wait a minute. Counter there by TRG, striking on the head of Beast. Kicks the midsection. And there's that sit up called Driver. He's got Beast up now. Kicks the midsection. Code Red connects. He's got Beast up. This is it. The one percent. Will TLG get a title shot at the ICW World Heavyweight title? Cover! No! Count of two. Two count TLG. You gotta do more damage to Beast if you wanna get that title shot. There's the new drop on the left arm of Beast. TLG follows it up with a neck whip. But Beast finds a way to counter there using his legs. Slams down TLG to the mat. He's got him up. TRG dodges. Beast pushed him away. Dodged by TRG. There's the chop. Counter elbow. And now. 
Oh, went for the ice of beast there. TRG. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for that suplex, but he just drops down. Beast, and there's that net whip. Oh, kicks the left leg as well. TRG now has the champion up. Color elbow. Atomic drop. He's got him up once more. Another color will tie up this time. It's Beast who's got TRG. Wait, he escaped him. And there's that chop block. Cover by TRG. No count of two. Got him with the elbow drop. Uh oh. Beast. He's got TRG for the sidewalk slam. TRG's in trouble here as Beast goes for the snake eyes. Oh, Camel Clutch for the referee calls with a rope break. Rope break on that Camel Clutch by Beast. Back elbow by TRG now. Here we go. Reverse DDT connects. TRG now. Going for his own version of that Camel Clutch. He's now in control, like he saw with his, this is why he's the ICW Team World Heavyweight Champion. Uh-oh, this is it, running, power slam, that's gonna do it. Ah, oh, but TRG, with a counter, kicking the head of Beast, ah, he, oh, Beast evades him. And there's that belly to belly suplex. Punching away on the head of TRG now. There's this thumb to the next section. And now. Stumps. The right arm of TRG. Covered nose. The left arm. And kick out. Beast trying to block those attacks. Those strikes of TRG. But TRG grabbed them. Beast though with the elbows to the mid section. Of TRG there. Oh, Spine Buster! Spine Buster! Sponsored by Bees. Oh, TRG got him with a neck breaker. And he drops the head of Beast. What's this? TRG going after the right arm of Beast there. Oh, and hurts it. And now. Oh! Look at this submission hold, ladies and gentlemen, by TLG. Finally let go of it. Beast is back up, kind of a tie up. Beast with the knee to the mid section. Kick to the mid section as well. And now Beast going for his sit out power bomb. The Beast of Bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Beast of Bomb, cover. Will this do it? Is it over? No. What else does Beast and old TLG have to do to win this match? I'm just look at TLG go at it with Beast, ladies and gentlemen. There's the kick to the left leg, a stomp, second stomp. Ah, but Beast is gonna go for that counter. Oh, snap. Beast in trouble. He might lose this match, ladies and gentlemen, as TRG has the submission hole in the ring. But Beast can't get the ropes. Will he tap out? Oh. Will TRG do it? Will he get the win? No, he doesn't.
there it is. The one percenter. It's over. TRG gets the win. Come on, ref. Get that three kill already. No. Count of two. TRG has beast up. Color elbow. Kick the mid section. Here it is. Oh, but beast. Countess. Picks up TRG now, but TRG goes with a headbutt, knocking down Beast. Stops him, kicks the mid, the, the chest of Beast, and now falls it over the armbar stretch. Oh, nice Larry on the corner by TRG, stomping away on Beast. Drop out. And now TRG going for that running bulldog. Picks up Beast. Beast now. Oh, back elbow. Colorable tile. This is it. Beast. Snake eyes. Stomp. Kick. And now. Shoves his knee on the face of TRG. Not gonna stop. TRG blocks him there. Cattering Beast Carvel tie up. Oh, please. Beast blocks him. Nice counter there by Beast, ladies and gentlemen. What's he doing to TRG here? Why well, he's going for multiple lariats. No! That last Lariat hat to head. Grabs the head of TRG Stark, down his back of the head to the mat. Oh, pushes TRG away, but TRG dodges Beast. He's got him up. Uh oh. TRG gonna stop the left arm of Beast. Now he's gonna knee drop the left arm. Nope, it wasn't the left, it was the right one. There's that elbow drop. And now, the kick. Wait, Beast with a forearm. Color elbow. He's got TLG. And now, Beast with a stalling. One armed. Suplex. What's next here? Beast. He's got TLG in a torture rack possession. Ah, a torture rack. Torture rack. My goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen, look at Beast torturing the back of TRG. Finally, let it go. As TRG was not gonna tap out, head bites Beast, knocks him down, and knee drops the left arm. Ah, oh, but Beast with a kick to the head of TRG. TRG now. Well, a little punches as Beast. He's got TRG here. Throws or sends the back of TRG to the corner and threw him down. Stomping the right arm. Multiple kicks to the chest now by Beast. Picks up TRG. Call the tile. TRG double the kick to the red section. But Beast has him for the slam. Almost like a gut wrench slam there. Oh, knee strike. More little punches to the head of TLG there by Beast stops his the mech section as well. More punches by Beast yet again. And the stomp at the end. Beast falls it up with the stomp to the right arm. And another one. He's got TRG up. Spear! Spear connects. But Beast ain't going for the cover. TLG counters with the elbow to the mech section. Here it is. Snap. Suplex. And now, the one percent. Cover. Is this it? No. Count of two. TRG almost had Beast there. And now, the on-ball stretch. TRG. 
in control of the match. Fisherman Brain Buster. Beast blocks him. Dragon Screw. Nice counter there by TLG. Countered by Beast. This will this the stomp. Oh, Camel Clutch by Beast. Wait a minute. Why is Charles Charles Steve's on playing? Is Charles gonna come out? What is this? Beast lets he let go of the camel clutch. He thought Charles Schultz was gonna appear. Focuses back on TRG, kicks his back. All I, all I know is Beast could have won that match via the camel clutch. TRG now. Beast fighting back with those back elbows. Picks up TRG. And he's gonna go for that stun gun. Stomping the left arm of TRG. We were all a trap, ladies and gentlemen. Did Charles Schultz do this? Or oh, was it somebody else who distracted Beast? Oh, TRG's bleeding. TRG's busted open. Beast is upset. What has transpired during this match, ladies and gentlemen? We still don't know who played Charles Schultz's theme song. Who played his song? Was it actually him? Or was it someone else? I don't think Malik Brown would have done it. Uh oh. Rotten power slam by Beast. This man is frustrated. He got distracted and I don't blame him. Wait. TRG sees an opening. There's the punch. Waste luck. And slams. And slam it down. Beast there. But Beast is back up. Oh. TRG with the drop toe hold. There's the stomp. Ah, oh, nice counter by Beast. I don't know what's going on the head of Beast anymore, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think he's focused on the match. He's trying to, though. He's trying to focus on his opponent, TLG. Charles, who was. Oh, that's got a hat. Like I was saying, like. Charles, who was in the Rumble match earlier. His song just played while well, Beast had the camel clutch locked in on TRG. And now TRG, see, he saw an opening. Yeah, he's gonna take it at all cost. Just look at this man go, ladies and gentlemen. But TRG, I don't think he noticed the theme song of Charles Schultz played as well. Ah, oh, he drops the left arm of Beast. I don't think it was TRG who wanted the production to play Charles' theme song as well. Oh, that's got a head. More punches to the head there by Beast onto TRG. Stops him. Oh, TRG now. Dragon screw. Kicks up Beast now. Kicks the bit section. Here we go. Go! Rad! Is this it? Is it over? Cover! No way! TLG has beaten the IC Philly GP World Heavyweight Champion here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. What I would want to say a controversy match. Who did it? Who played Charles Schultz's theme song? Was it him? Was it TLG? Was it Malik Brown? Or was it someone else? Can we see the replays, ladies and gentlemen, from this semi final matchup between the winner TRG and the champion Beast. Here is your winner, TRG! Ladies and gentlemen, we're heading over to our last commercial break. Before we come back, it's Matt Thunder versus Ray Blitz for the Never Overweight Championship. So don't go anywhere because we'll be right back from Rapture here at the BW Horizon episode.
Main Event Never Openweight Title Match Challenger Matt Dunder vs Champion Ray Blitz Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event and it is for the Never Openweight Championship Set for one fall with a 60 minute time limit Introducing first Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event of the BW Horizon episode as Matt Thunder, the current ICWP Junior Heavyweight Champion, challenges Ray Blitz for his Never Overweight Championship here tonight. One man. I think Matt Thunder could be double champion if he defeats Ray Blitz. Ray Blitz retains, he will still be never a champion as the champion. Whoever walks out will have to face Malik Brown for the championship. And with that, here's your champion, Ray Blitz. Yeah. Hey, check it. Okay, I feel and there he is. Losing is impossible. Go against the Blitz team. The thing they know not to do. Bright lights. That's a ride. Do what I gotta do. Time after time. Best we do time the ever match. Match these two you men. You go at it one on one. But not inside a NJCW ring. Ladies and gentlemen, no three. This is the best time. They will battle. In a BW Horizon episode. I'm still new, shopping at Dover Street. I'm dripping like mildew. They say you don't visit the hood, no, I still do. A real one, only difference. My bills be Ray Blitz won the never voice championship by beating Rain Allen. God handed me his game plan. I ain't perfect, far from it. Who is a member of Revolt, just like Matt Dunder at Paul Kingdom 7. Ray Blitz with a champion. game on the line, do what I gotta do. Time after time, we do the impossible. It felt like yesterday, I was just driving my grandma Chevrolet. Or he won it at Call Kingdom 7. I can't remember what's a long time ago, but let's see the announcements from the ring announcer. Interesting first. Hello, <laughs> Jerry. On my right side. From Los Angeles, California, representing Revolt, Matt Thunder, and he is the ICWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, and now the champion representing the main unit from California, Ray Blitz. Your never open weight champion. As Blitz hands the never open weight title to the referee, shows it to Matt Dunder. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The never open weight championship, where two weight classes collide against each other. Matt Dunder is ready. Ray Blitz is ready. Referee will be calling for the bell. Here we go. 60 minutes on the clock. As Blitz starts things off nicely with a waist lock there, slamming down Matt Dunder. With the stomp to the arm. And now Blitz going for those multiple punches. Blitz, who was a finalist of the New Japan Cup, Cup Tournament this season, losing to the winner, Malik Brown. As a tough tax against the in Matt Dunder. Matt Dunder, who. Himself and Ray Allen will be challenging for the ICWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team titles at Sakura Origins. Could Matt walk out? Not only here tonight as double champion, but if he wins it, he might win 
the tag team titles of the junior heavyweight division and become a triple crown champion. Nice chops there by Matt Thunder. Got him with a back elbow, color elbow. Matt Thunder is no. He is no mystery against the heavyweight class, ladies and gentlemen, as he has wrestled the ICWGP heavyweight champion in Beast. That been at the main event of New Year's Dash. Oh, got him with a boot. It was a New Year's Dash, ladies and gentlemen. It was the anniversary show of NJCW. Oh, and now Matt with the T Harris there. And over the drop kick on the back of Blitz. Went to the stomp. And now Matt with a modified camel clutch. Blitz is back up. There's the punch right there. Oh, the waist lock follows it up with a backdrop. Blitz has already defended the Neverway title once against Chaos, member of the DMP. Oh, wait, wheelbarrow into the DDT by Matt Dunder. Also, those chops. Back elbow connects. Drop kick. Stomping Ray Blitz there. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if there's a time the limit draw, Ray Blitz remains. Your narrow heavyweight champion. But I don't think none of these two men want a time limit drug. They want to be an actual winner in this match. Nice suplex. Now Ray Blitz. Oh, the knee. There's the Larry at the end. And for the stomp on Matt. Kicks the back as well, but Matt didn't like that one bit. Kicks the leg. Super kick. Blitz the kick, elbow to knee, Ray Blitz now, wait, it's Matt with a counter. On their elbow, oh, swing blade, but he's not done yet, there's the drop kick. Look at the stop, and kick, best time ever, NJC, boy, NJCW show, is in the US, ladies and gentlemen, in New Jersey. Usually our NJCW Pride Shows are always in Los Angeles, California. Flex now with a color elbow. Oh, what's he up to here? But Matt, reversed it. Goes with the pin. And Blitz kicks out. Standing, shooting star. But Blitz got the knees up. That will tie up. Where's he going with Matt Thunder here? Puts him on the corner. And out. Oh! Sent the head of Matt to the top of the corner there. Let's now with those boxing type punches. Onto Matt. And there's the alley. He's got Matt up. Color elbow. Matt Thunder in trouble as Blitz goes for the stun gun. And there's the multiple punches to the head of Matt. And now he's bleeding. Let's now with the color of old. There's the airship. Nats and smacks over the top rope. Matt's back up. Misses that calf kick. Let's now after the color of Oh, gut buster. And more punches to the head of Matt Thunder. He's got him up, but Matt with a jawbreaker. There's the kick. Let's now. What a knee. Stomach section of Matt, and Matt falls down. Fourth count by the referee, ladies and gentlemen. But since we're going by NJCW rules, they don't have until the count of 20 to get back in that ring. And now Matt on the apron. Not in the ring. Color elbow. Here we go. Steps to plus. Checks Ray Blitz. Blitz touches that one. And a better than belly. Suplex. Stopping Matt Thunder now. Here we go. The on ball stretch.
Lower arm bar by the referee call for the rope break. Uh, now Matt. Oh, yeah, punch. Now punch the back of Blitz form this time. Irish whips splits the corner. What's Matt up to here? Running. Bulldog. And now. Knee drops. The left arm of Ray Blitz there. Blitz there with a kick to the head of Matt. Max counter. But Matt with the punch. Waist lock. Back over by Blitz. Matt with the punch. Matt kind of tie up. Here's Blitz. Showing off his strength. He just drops down Matt Dundle to the mat. Picks him up. Kick the midsection. And here we go. Matt though. With the pin. Going to get a one count here. Yeah. Oh, but it's Blitz who's in control. Puts Matt Dundle in the corner. Ah, oh, now he's got him with the Tree of Woe possession. Oh, but Matt with a the kick there. Get out. Got him right there. Blitz down with a kick. Punch. Blocked by Matt. He's in the mid-second of Ray Blitz and drops him down. Matt Thunder from the top row. Shooting star press, but Ray Blitz started coming. Got the knees up. Here we go. A choke. Sit up. Power bomb. Cover. Ah, oh, but Matt kicks out. But it's blocking that kick. Oh, uh, no. Standing Spanish fly with a pin. Two count. Now oh, Matt with a kick on the mid section of Ray Bliss. Kicks the back as well. Stomps him. Oh, will tie up. It's nope. Matt escapes Ray Blitz. Waste off into the backstabber. Another standing shooting star by Blitz yet again, getting the knees up. Matt was all the way. Color elbow. Here we go. Blitz. What's he up to here? Oh, nice power slam. And there's that knee strike. A stomp. Ray Blitz now go with the submission hold. Is Matt gonna tap out? Will he? I don't know. Matt the way back. Well, there's that calf kick. Connects it. Now Matt slams the back of Blitz to the corner and drops it down. There's that standing shooting star. Finally connects it. Cover. And the count of one. Ooh, Blitz somehow took down Matt Thunder there and starts punching on his head. There we go. What's Blitz up to here? Turns over Matt. Knee struck. And a lariat at the end. Matt Thunder counters at the end though. Ooh, counter by Blitz as well. Kick the head there by Matt. Kick the head by Blitz. And stomp to the arm. The left arm of Matt Thunder does it again. Oh, picks him up by his throat and throws him to the other side. Kind of a tie up. Blitz now. What's he thinking here? He's thinking of throwing Matt Thunder from the top rope. One count by the referee Blitz just waiting for Matt to get up. Never mind, he's gonna pick him up. Color old tie up. And there's the belly to belly suplex. Kicks them up second of Matt Thunder. Here we go. Blitz now goes for that stalling suplex of his. Three. Referee at the third count. Oh, one handed suplex. Fire Blitz there. Color elbow sends Matt to the steel steps. Six. Referee at the six count. Seven. Now at seven. 
Matt Thunder taking his time to get back in the ring as Blitz goes with the archer to the corner. Matt, the back elbow, kicks them a second of Blitz. Oh, where's he going? He's gonna go to the top rope. Hits the arm drag. Thump. Kicks the chest there. Try another setting shooting star press. But again, Blitz with the knees up. Here we go. Power bomb. Picks up Matt. Color elbow. Matt done with a spinning kick though. As he's gonna knee drop the left. The left arm of Ray Blitz. Kicks the back as well. There's the kick. Another kick. Chop. Snap. Mayor. And the elbow to the. Head of Ray Blitz. More kicks by Matt Thunder. Now he's gonna knee drop the right arm this time of Blitz. Knees the back as well. Another little punches to the head of Ray Blitz now. And Blitz is also busted open. Both men are bleeding. Oh, Blitz with a headbutt. Kicks up Matt Thunder, but Matt fights back. There we go, standing. Moonsault. For the win. Out of one. He's got Blitz off. There's the kick. Another kick. Color elbow. Blitz with the elbow. So we second on Matt Thunder. I will tie up. Blitz. Ah, oh, he's going for that stalling one arm suplex once again. And hits it. Now what's he up to? Lifts up Matt for the running power slam. And now Blitz with a submission hole locked in the middle of the ring. This Matt gonna tap out. Will Blitz win via submission? Matt Thunder doesn't tap out. Or gives up the match continues. Kick to the decision there by Blitzen out. The sit out. Power drive back. Gives it the cover. Oh ho ho. Count of two. He's got Matt Thunder up. But Matt though with a jawbreaker. Kicks the leg of Blitz. Here we go. And drops down Ray Blitz to the max once again. Will this time, will Matt connect it here? Yes, he does. The shooting star press. Cover. New champion. No. They still match it out. Standing shooting star press now by Matt Thunder. What's he going to do here? Meat drops. The right arm of Blitz. And there's the kick to the back. This is back up though. Oh! What an STO! By the champion. Ray Blitz. The man who's defending his never Rubberweight Championship. Here in this mid event matchup. Goes for those boxing punches on Matt. Matt counters at the end though. First punch. Second punch. Third punch. Uppercut. And now. Falls it up with a knee drop to the left arm of Blitz. Here we go. Kicks the back of Ray. Knee drops the left arm once more. And there's the kick to the back yet again. Now we'll tie up Matt now with the arch whip. That says Blitz over the top rope. Matt goes after him. Kicks the back of Blitz. Standing. Shooting star press connects. What's this? What's Matt doing here? This is some mesh and hold. Referee at the two count. I do believe it's the camel clutch, ladies and gentlemen. Matt has blitz up now. Color elbow sends him to the announcer's table. Come on, Matt. We don't need the tables to be broken here. Kind of a tie up. Oh, and Matt trips and falls down as Blitz gets back in the ring. 
as he taunts Matt Thunder to get inside the ring, ladies and gentlemen. He finally does. As Splash caught him with a double choke. Sit up, power bomb for the win. No count of two, ladies and gentlemen. As 15 minutes have officially passed in this match, ladies and gentlemen. 15 minutes have passed. Oh, there's the on bar. Locked in by Ray Blitz. Will Matt tap out via the on bar? All I'm saying is, where was this Ray Blitz when you were facing Melly Brown in the finals of the New Japan Cup Cup tournament? Kind of a tie up. Irish with there by Matt Thunder. Oh, they collide with each other. Now, kind of elbow. Matt now. What's he up to here? Stun gun. There's that standing shooting star press. A uh, second one, but it was denied by Ray Blitz. Getting the knees up. Touch by Matt goes for the kick. On the left leg. Irish with Ray Blitz sending him over the top rope. We have not yet seen a suicide dive there by the ICWHP Junior Heavyweight Champion Matt Thunder. As he's reserving those type of attacks in his arsenal. Where he needs them the most. Let's now stop him the right arm of Matt. Grabs him by the throat, picks him up, and throws him. Four count by the referee. Oh, and sends Matt to the steel steps yet again. Stomped them. And now hurts the left arm of Matt. Multiple punches to the head now by Ray Blitz. Referee has already started the count out. He's at seven now. Another punch there by Blitz. Eight count by the ref. That's now with a punch. That knocks down Matt Thunder. Nine count to... Oh, leg DDT. Now gets out. Matt though with the spinning kick. Picks up Ray Blitz. Oh, the punch. I don't want block. Knee to the section there by Ray Blitz. And Matt Thunder is going to fall down yet again. Blitz back in the ring after the 12th count. Will Blitz win via counter? Will he retain the memorable championship? The team. 14 and Matt Thunder makes it back in the ring. As he sends Ray Blitz over the top rope. Here we go again. I don't think Matt's going to go after Ray Blitz this time. Never mind. Wait. He's waiting in the ring. Now he's going to go after Ray Blitz. Referee has to restart the count out. As Blitz now goes for it. Wait, Matt Thunder fights back with those punches to the head of Blitz. Color elbow. Blitz with a knee to the midsection. Sends Matt Thunder to the steel steps once again. And now Blitz here. Punching away on the head of Matt Thunder. The man is already bleeding, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice kick there by Ray Blitz. He's got Matt Thunder on the barricade. But Matt dodges Blitz. Here we go. Standing. Spanish fly. And now. He drops. The right arm of Blitz. Kicks him as well. Kick to the head by Blitz though. And now. Oh, Matt Thunder trips and falls down yet again. As Blitz gets back in the ring. Matt now. In the ring as well. Nice punch there by Blitz. Goes to the arch lift to the corner. Ah, there's those back elbow shots there by Blitz. On the challenger, Matt Thunder lifts him up and throws him. Gonna move Matt away from the ropes. Yes, he is. Oh, the cover. Is it over? Is it enough to retain? No. Let's now. Punching away on the head of Matt Thunder. As always. The champion has got to do something to retain. Oh. Catter by Matt there. Swooping the leg with his arm. 
Back breaker. Now the drop kick. What's Matt up to here? He drops the left arm of Blitz. Oh, Blitz kicking the head of Matt Thunder. Catch the section. Kind of a tie up. Blitz now. Pass Matt in the fireman's carry position. Oh, a some sort of snake eyes there by Blitz. Ah, uh, Matt counters at the end there. There's that calf kick. Now he's gonna stomp the arm. The right arm of Blitz picks the back as well. Picks his back yet again. What's Matt gonna do next here? He's on the apron. That's the top rope. Are we looking for it? Yes, we are. That shooting star press connects. For the win. Will Matt be champion? No. Blitz still managed to kick out using his shoulder. Wait a minute, Blitz is back up. But Matt blocks him. Oh, another blocker by Ray Blitz. Dodges Matt Thunder. There's the punch. Color elbow. Sends Matt over the top rope. Oh, he hangs on it. He's on the apron. Oh no, Blitz is going to bring him back in the ring. Punches his back. And now, Ray Blitz with a kick. Blocked by Matt. Punches the midsection. And now, clear elbow. Oh, but Blitz kind of with a kick. There's that big food. Picks up Matt. And now, color elbow. What's he up here? Puts Matt on the ropes. Oh no, I've seen this before. Here we go. The pounds. Come back. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Ray Blitz retains yeah. the Never Boy Championship here in this VW Horizon hey, episode it. of okay, NJCW. Let's go then, replay, impossible. ladies and gentlemen. The team, the thing nice one there by Matt Stunner to Ray Blitz. Can you see that dream star for us? But let's count it. Double chill, sit up, power bomb by Blitz there. Standing salt by Matt Stunner. Cover, one, two, kick it. There is no winner. And... You ain't here, I'm You'll never truth. open with real you real new tricks on them still new Shopping at Dover Street, I'm flipping like Bill Dude But say you don't visit the hood, dog. No. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been one, your English commentator Eddie Moulton. Thank you all for watching the best ever BW Horizon episode of New Japan called Wrestling. I can't wait to see all the back, ladies and gentlemen, for the next NJCW episode slash shows. Next up, the four World Divine Green Color Man, NJCW Thrive. But until then, it's time to save these two now. Peace out. Have you so long? A good night. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whichever part of the world you're from. Until next time. It's always checkmate. I'm still screaming. Screw the world. Hope she impregnates. Mother Nature's my first shorty. Watch how I procreate. I go ballistic and I'm so terrific. Accounts is copacetic. I don't need no permission, but I'm so indebted to this game that I love. And most of all, to the man above. Now check me out. Now I was just that Fridays was serving the greens Before I was popping bottles, I was nursing my dreams Now I ain't never been a gangster, but I know a few things I just rather get the bag and start collecting the rings but I done spoke too much, close curtain and scene I am not a human being, I'm a full machine I ain't holier than thou, I don't judge, I sing Just staying down for the come up till I reign supreme Let's get it, yeah, uh, hey boy, you got another one Y'all boys ain't ready for this man. I'm still grinding, I'm still hungry. Hungrier than ever. I feel unstoppable. Losing's impossible. Go against the team, the thing they know not to do. Bright lights, game on the line, do what I gotta do. Time after time, we do the impossible.